Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. It has definitely been a while since I posted. Uh, this hol holiday season has kicked my butt, but I finally, got, I finally got out all of my remaining open orders, so now I can just worry about other things. So one big thing that I have to worry about today is moving in some new equipment from my garage that I got like a week ago, um, and I have to move it into my craft room. So I'm gonna have to do like a little mini remodel of my craft room because I have to move some furniture around to be able to get the equipment to fit in here. Um, and we also have to put the stand together to put the machine on the stand. So uh, if you guys don't know, um, I am now an affiliate for Racoma and they were nice enough to send out a new embroidery machine for me, um, a 20 needle. So I'm like, super excited to get that machine set up because I have my training tomorrow. Once I have my training tomorrow, I do believe I'll be able to actually use the machine. So it would have been really nice to be able to use that machine to get all of my Etsy orders out, but I just did not have time to set up the machine, take the training, and uh, get everything all set up. So now that everything's died down, I'm able to focus on that and get that machine up. I also have another machine too that I need to get set up. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that one tonight, so you will have to wait for another video for that other machine to get all set up. Um, that machine will be going into a different room. But I thought I would just go ahead and bring you guys along with me on getting the machine set up and getting this room ready for the machine. So let me show you what my craft room currently looks like and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be moving around and I'll show you guys how the machine looks once it's all set up. So let's go ahead and let's just dive into this video. Okay guys, so this is what my craft room currently looks like right now. Um, it is a mess. It's been a crazy busy holiday season, so don't mind the mess. I haven't had time to clean up. But over here on the left hand side, I have all my threads and like basic storage. Um, and then I have my like barnyard table um, that has like these really cool uh, doors that my husband made. Uh, but on here I have my tumbler press, my Cricut, my hooping station. Um, and then over here I have some more shelves at the very top, some threads back there that I'm actually gonna take down and get rid of. Um, and then I have my two embroidery machines that I've owned for two, three years now. I've had this one for two years now and this one a year now, actually. So we're going to be putting our third machine over here. Um, so we'll put the Racoma 20 needle right next to the two buys. Um, this table will be moved um, and then we'll push these machines, all the machines down and then we'll fit the Racoma right there. This table is going to go back here along the fireplace because we don't really use the fireplace because we live in California. It doesn't get cold enough to be able to use it. So we're going to put the the farmhouse barnyard, barnyard door uh, table um, along the back of this room. Over here we have our F2000 Epson printer. We have another farmhouse table um, that will be uh, moving down. We'll be taking this shelf out. We'll leave the TV um, just because it's too big to move and I use it anyways to like while I'm working so we'll leave the TV there. We're gonna take out this brown table, move that brown table under, he under here and then this table will just scoot down and then the DTG will just scoot down as well and then again this table right here is gonna go along the back. So I'm gonna start moving things around in here, the things that I'm able to, the machines, and then this table I probably won't be able to move by myself, so I'll have to have my husband help me with that. Um, but while I'm moving everything around, my husband's going to set up the stand to the, to the embroidery machine. I'm not gonna show you guys that portion just because it's gonna be in the garage. It's super dark in there. Um, so the lighting's not really good. So he's gonna put the stand together out in the garage, I believe. And then he's gonna put the machine onto the stand. I can't watch that. It gives me such bad anxiety watching that. So he's gonna be doing all that stuff out in the garage while I'm organizing, reorganizing this room and getting the room ready for the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Once the machine is inside though, I will show you everything that comes in the crate. Now the machine was delivered 
um, on a big truck. They had to uh, use a, I don't even know what they're called, they had to use some type of machine to get it into our garage. Um, and it's in a big giant crate. It's huge. The crate won't fit in our house, so that's why it was delivered and put in the garage, just because we can't move that into our house. So we're going to have to get the machine out of the crate before we can get the machine in the house. So I'm hoping we can get this all done by tonight because I have my training at 11 a.m. tomorrow. If I don't get it done, I'm going to have to reschedule. And I don't want to reschedule because I want to start playing with my new machine and business was busy for Christmas. I'm hoping that business will continue to be busy uh, in January because I know last year or at the beginning of this year, January 2022, January was the was better than the previous Christmas season. So I'm hoping that in 2023, January will be a little bit better. Um, we did really great this Christmas season, but I'm hoping that January will be really good and we can carry on um, all the orders that we've been getting. Hopefully we can maintain that and get that for next year as well. And having a third machine is going to help out so much because I've been running the two buys literally from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. So it's going to be really nice having another machine to help keep up with all these orders. So, okay, so I feel like we haven't gotten much done, but we moved this brown table out of the way. We moved the kitchen table down. Eric moved the DTG over, but spilled some ink, so he's cleaning that up right now. Um, but yeah, this room is so dusty. I never realized how dusty it is. Um, and I feel like I'm constantly dusting or having to dust this room and it still is just every crevice in this room is covered in dust. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. Okay. Ah. So I'm just coming in here to check in on Eric. He got the crate all demolished, I guess. So now he's just trying to figure out how he's gonna get it onto the engine lift with the buy it had little brackets for us to attach it to the engine lift this unfortunately does not so we're gonna have to figure out how to lift it onto the stand because again help huh I had to get a lift buddy. a lifting buddy for this one yeah oh no because this one is this machine is 562 pounds I think it said online so I don't know if that's like the put the whole the whole uh package. Oh, okay. I'm not sure though. Yeah, so we might have to find some more help to lift it. Hopefully it not though. Stuff. Hopefully we can figure it out. Okay guys, so here is the progress so far. So we still need to move this kitchen table or table down more because there's like a small gap. So uh, we're going to move that down more in just a little bit. We have the DTG printer here. We're going to center this table more in the middle of the room, once we get the Rakoma in here, once we have the Rakoma in here, we're going to see like how much of like how much space we have, so we can move our other embroidery machines over. Um, the Rakoma will go right here. I'm gonna have my crickets and my sublimation printer on this table. Um, we still might move this table out and move it somewhere else in the house. I don't know if I like this table over there, so. Um, it's still a work in progress. Eric is still putting a stand together and we're still waiting on a friend to come over and help us lift the machine onto the stand and help us move the stand into the house. So yeah, I can't wait till it's in the house though. Once it's in the house, I have a few things that I have to do to the machine to get it prepped and ready for tomorrow's training. Uh, once we have it in the room though and have everything set up for tomorrow's training, I'm going to call it a night. Um, I'll have to re wait to reorganize the room a little bit more. It's my liking. Um, I had my niece over though. She did help dust things off, wipe things down. Um, I might have her come back over sometime this week and help me organize a little bit more just because everything in this room is just super unorganized and that's my liking. So, um, yeah. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hopefully... It won't be much longer until the machine's in the house. All right, guys, so the machine is in the house. I'm so happy. So I do have to get the machine set up. Um, there are a few things that I have to have ready to go tomorrow for my training. So I need to get all the threads, 
all threaded on the machine. Um, I have to remove the hat and or remove the hat hoop and attach the arms and then have the hat hoop set up. So I have a few more things to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some thread from my collection and add it to the machine, get it threaded, um, and then I should be good to go. Okay guys, so I have all my threads on the machine. Eric is working on getting the rest of them threaded. Taking me all night. <laughs> so we have the 20 needles, so it takes us a little bit longer because you have to thread 20 needles. So it's a lot more work. We're at 16. We're almost there. Four more to go. But yeah, we're almost done with that. And then we still need to take off the, the hat and attach the other arms to the machine. But I am so tired. I'm ready to go to bed. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give like a little unboxing of what came in the crate. So um, when we re received the machine, we got this really big hoop, huge. So if I wanted to like embroider on a quill or a big blanket, this would be really nice to use. Um, they also sent a bunch of like samples of Madeira thread, some needles, some bobbins, um, and some different little things of stabilizer for us to test out. So that's a nice little box of goodies. You even got the stabilizer for hats. So I love using Madeira thread. Um, I use candle thread mostly as of right now. Um, candle thread is like comparable to Madeira. Madeira, I would say, is double the price. Um, but I haven't seen like a big difference in like the threads, but Madeira is a good brand to use. It also came with a hat hoop and a hooping station. I'm really excited to test this hooping station out and seeing if this one is a little bit easier to use and if I would like this hooping station compared to my other machines. Um, a bunch of different hoops for the machine, different sizes. So these will be perfect for like onesies. I do like using Mighty Hoops, but I do use um, these hoops as well. When I have a bunch of uh, items that I need to embroider, I like to pre-hoop everything. So having a bunch of backups is always nice. They also sent out two big hoops as well. Um, and then they sent out some auto hats. Eric was actually really excited because we haven't tried these yet. So, um, I'm excited to test these hats out. Um, I am a little nervous doing structured hats. I do feel confident in doing just basic dad hats. Um, I have embroidered quite a few of dad hats. And then I need to attach these arms to the machine. These look identical to my other machines, so um, putting these on should be pretty easy. Um, they also sent out some other stuff, a little notebook. I think this is hand sanitizer, is my guess. A little notebook. And some other little goodies, so. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> I love notebooks, that's like the teacher in me, so I love having different like notepads, notebooks. Um, so I'm actually excited to have that. So yeah, so this is all the stuff that came with the machine. Um, the th machine is fully threaded. Um, I did get tangled up in like all the threads. So next thing to do is take this hat hoop off and put the arms on and then I need to set up the hooping station with a hat as well. So two more things to do tonight and then I can go to bed and then I can wake up and do my training. And I'll let you guys know how the training goes tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up that these last few things and then just go to bed because I am beyond tired. I'm just happy that the machine is inside the house and I'll be able to finally use it soon. So I'm excited to have a third machine to kind of help me keep up with everything so I don't have to work from the moment I wake up to the time I go to bed. Maybe I can have like a regular work schedule. I don't know. 
but it'll be nice to actually have a third machine running and going so I still need to buy like mighty hoops for this machine so uh, I'm gonna do that in the next few days is make sure I, and order those uh, probably after Christmas I'll order those but I need to order mighty hoops um, because I believe they require different like hoops compared to my other machines so I will have to buy a brand new set of all the mighty hoops that I use um, and then I still need to finish organizing the room I'm definitely not doing that tonight but uh, this is what it looks like as of right now. I think this is like, so what we're going to do, I think instead, is we're going to take the DTG um, and get rid of this stand. We're going to move the DTG onto this table and move all of my heat presses over to the barnyard table. And then we're actually going to move, I think once we get this table out, we'll be able to put that table against um, the wall. It should hopefully fit. So that should give me a lot more space to work with because we are trying to find like a better workflow when running all the machines and running the DTG all at once. We need a better workflow to help us get the orders out as quickly as possible. So figuring that out, but I will check back in with you guys tomorrow and kind of show you what else we were able to get done. And I'll let you guys know how the training goes tomorrow on this machine and all of that. So. Okay, so we got a hat hooped. Um, I struggled. Um, this hooping station's a little different than the one I'm t typically used to using. Um, we did have to loosen this little strap so it, it would be able to go like around the hat. Um, but hopefully I did it correctly. We'll find out tomorrow if I did. Um, but yeah, this was a little bit more challenging, but I think over time will get a little bit easier for me. Um, it is a little lower than I would like. I think I need to attach the hat or hooping station to a higher table. I think that'll help me out much, much, much more. Um, and then, so now I'm just going to go ahead and attach the arms and then I'll be done. We also need to take these off as well since we're not going to be using the table at all. Um, we will have to take these off and then put the arms on really fast. Alright guys, so I'm officially starting the training. Um, hopefully it won't take too long, but once I'm done, hopefully I'll be able to use the machine. I'm so excited. Alright guys, I'm doing my official test run. I must say it's a lot quieter than my other machine. And so far the stitches look really nice. basic dad hats but everything's stitching out really nicely okay so here is my hat design don't judge me on the colors I just picked any random colors but I went a little too low I feel like on the design but the hat came out really nicely um, so I'm just waiting for 
the other person I'm doing the training with to finish doing his hat and then we'll be able to move on to the next step. So, yeah. Super easy. Not too much different than my other machine. Just a few slight differences. And I will do a comparison of the two um, different machines. But so far it's been pretty easy for me to learn how to use the machine. Um, the training's been good. If you're an like a beginner beginner I t so helpful uh, ex especially if you don't know a lot about embroidery but luckily I do have some background experience using industrial embroidery machines so doing these last two projects have been super easy to do okay guys so I'm officially all done with my training so now I can play around with my machine um, I do have some new inventory coming in for some blanks that I plan on testing out on my new machine, so stay tuned for some more YouTube videos. And now that the holiday rush is over, I can focus more on content now, so definitely like and subscribe to this video if you have yet to do that, um, and stay tuned for a bunch of new videos coming out. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye! Okay.